Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. This video is really exciting because it is a request, okay? So one of my Snapchat friends requested for me to do a Gemini October reading. So that is what we are here doing today, okay? This is going to be a forecast for the 14th, sorry, 14th through the 31st, okay? Which is today through the rest of the month. So this is the rest of the month's forecast for the Geminis. Okay, so if you're a Gemini sun, moon, or rising, this is for you, okay? If this does not resonate, check your chart, okay? So without further ado, we're going to get into this. I've created a fun four card spread for you lovely Geminis, okay? It's the same spread I used for my Libras, okay? So we're going to get into this. So, the Geminis. So the first thing that we are going to figure out is where are the Geminis currently at this month, okay? Where are the Geminis currently at this month? Okay. Where are the Geminis currently at this month? Where are the Geminis currently at this month? One card, please. Where are the Geminis currently at this month? Where are the Geminis currently at this month? Connecting to all the Geminis that will be watching. Where are they currently at this month? Okay. All right, Knight of Cups. And really quick. Clarify this Knight of Cups for me. Clarify this Knight of Cups for the Geminis. Where are the Geminis currently at this month? Where are the Geminis currently at this month? Where are the Geminis currently at this month? Clarify this Knight of Cups. Clarify this Knight of Cups. Okay, Geminis, where are you currently at? Okay, and FYI, before I was doing this video, okay, like, you know, because I've been planning on doing this video for a while, so, you know, Gemini, what's the energy for Gemini? I was just saying that to myself, you know, playing with the deck, and, all, you know, even without the deck, the thought of marriage popped up heavy, okay? So, for some of you Geminis, the month of October, you might be getting engaged. Either that, or you might be getting into, you might be committing strongly in your relationship, like going... What is the word? Deepening a relationship. You might be starting a new relationship. But big time, some of you Geminis are getting engaged, okay? Or even if you're already engaged, you're getting married the month of October. You know, and that's some strong energy because it popped up right here. Where are the Geminis currently at this month? We have the Nine of Cups clarifying that we have the Three of Wands. So when I see this, I see that somebody is coming in, they're offering something to you, Gemini. So currently, if this has not already happened, it will happen, or you're going to be like, damn, that already happened, because like this is some strong energy. Somebody is, <coughs> excuse me, somebody is coming into your life and they're, offer they're offering something to you, and they're very passionate about this. It's like they won't take no for an answer. And I see you going through with this, Gemini, and it's nothing bad. Like, this is a beautiful partnership, okay? You're going to go start this new journey with this person. You're ready for it. It's like you've been expecting it. So this is really cool. So if you're single, be on the lookout for somebody offering, like, a relationship with you. If you're already in a relationship, somebody might be wanting to deepen the relationship, like, move in with you, do something. Or they might even just be straight up proposing to you this month. And it's some strong energy, like, oh my gosh. So, that is where you're currently at this month. I'll throw one more card on that question. Where are the Geminis currently at this month? One card, please. Where are the Geminis currently at this month? This lighting is just doing whatever it wants to do, but I'm going with it because, like, Geminis, this is your month, okay? Yeah, so for some of you, this is really cute. Like, okay, so where you're currently at. So for some of you, you've been like, um, you've had this feeling that they're going to ask you. You've had this feeling that they're going to be offering this to you, but you haven't spoke on it. And also, Gemini, 
you are very intuitive and you are also very to yourself but not in a bad way like you don't really you don't have a large group of friends which there's nothing wrong with that because you'd like to make sure that whoever is around you is sincere and genuine which is a beautiful thing because you can't just have anybody around you okay but that is you and whoever is offering this to you, you feel so, like, you're, like, in love. And, like, look, back of the deck, partnership, okay, two of cups, okay? So, I see you going through with this. Ha like, whoever you're with, the Gemini, if this is a new friendship, I don't know what it is. If this is, like, about your romantic interest, you guys are great, okay, Gemini? Like, and this isn't even a love reading. This is just a general forecast for the month of October, so we're going to get into this card number two, where are the Gemini's heading in October? So let's go ahead and see. Where are the Gemini's heading the month of October? One card, please. Just jumped out at me. Okay, and I'm going to... Okay, clarify the Six of Swords in reverse for me. Clarify the Six of Swords in reverse for Gemini. Okay, Gemini, so I see where you're heading in the month of October. You're going to go through with this whole proposal. You're going to go through with whatever somebody's offering for you. But for you, it's about this whole change, this whole transition. You might be scared a little bit because it's new. It's all new to you. Like, I'll clarify, but I... You know, so right now, if you're feeling that way, it's okay. You know, it's natural to feel that way. This is something new coming in your life. Something totally new. Or also, you could be, not scared, but like, you could be scared, you know, how your family will view this whole situation. Okay. Yeah. There's, okay, so... Okay, where you're heading, Gemini, there's definitely a decision that is coming your way. So like I said, you are getting an offer and somebody is either wanting to go the next step with you, move in with you, engage, propose to you, start a relationship with you, but there is a decision you need to make, yes or no, okay? Also, yeah, you could be wanting to start a, they could be wanting to start a family with you, Gemini. Like, this is some big energy, like, big decisions. And I can see why there's a little hesitancy because this is also new for you. You're, you know, sorry, I have something in my hand. But there's hesitancy because this is new. You've never done this before. Like, this is your first time doing this with this person. And they could also be, you know... It's not, pre they're not pressuring you, but they're so eager, they're so excited to do all this with you, and they're like, okay, so what's the answer? Like, what do you want to do? And it's just overwhelming in a sense to you, but it's not like in a bad way, but that's just what's coming your way. You might be feeling like a little overwhelmed, like, oh my gosh, I have this, 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 but in the end of this whole process with whatever you choose to do, Gemini, beautiful things, like all your cards are beautiful, like, so this is really good. Also, this won't really, this um, is not going to be for all the Gemini's out there, but some of you guys might be getting news of a baby, okay? You might be pregnant, or you might find out you're pregnant, or you might be trying to get pregnant. So, big news for the Gemini's. So, the third question I'm going to ask for you, lovely Gemini's, is what is coming your way? So, what energies are coming in your field, okay? So, that's what we're going to see. What energies are coming into Gemini's orbit? Like, confirmation is key, Gemini. The full card in reverse. Okay. <sighs> Next to four of wands. This huge confirmation to me, Gemini, that some of you guys are getting married. Some of you guys are getting engaged. Unity, harmony, okay, har uh, harmony, stability. Okay, Gemini is like, and you're gonna go through with this. You're and you're so excited. You feel so happy. But we have the full card in reverse. It's like you're hesitant to take this new journey, but you definitely want to do it. But you're like, oh my gosh, what is my family gonna think? Or how do I do this? I'm so young. Da 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 da. 
do it, you know. Of course, you know, with whatever other circumstances there are, but somebody is definitely wanting to take the next step with you, Gemini. Or vice versa, it could be you wanting to take the next step with somebody. Also, it's like you, you know that this is coming your way. If this has not already happened, it's like you already had a feeling that this person was going to do this, engage, or ask you to move in, or whatever the scenario is. Be very mindful for the rest of October that you might have these feelings of doubts. Okay? It's like, you kind of don't want to go through with it a little bit. It's No, it's not like that. It's like, you're just thinking so far into the future. Just think more in the now, okay? But these aren't bad thoughts that you're having. It's just like, oh, but what if, but if, what if, but what if. Okay, Gemini? But big time energy... Okay, so for some of you Geminis, you might be finding out you're pregnant, you're having another kid, you're doing something, or you could be trying to conceive. Other Geminis, you could be getting freaking married. Yes, Gemini. So that is what it's looking like for you. And then the fourth card I'm going to draw is what is the overall advice for Geminis for the rest of the month, okay, which is the 14th all the way through the 31st. What is the... um? Advice from the tarot for all the Geminis out there, okay? So what is the overall advice for Geminis for the month of October, for the ending of October? What is the overall advice for the Geminis? Also, some of you Geminis might be seeing the number five a lot. Like, pay attention to what numbers you're seeing. Okay, synchronicities, but the number five just popped up for you guys. Overall advice for the Geminis. Let's see. Clarify that. Okay, I'm getting that this overall advice for you lovely Geminis for the month of October is don't be scared to start something new. Don't let your past experiences affect your current situation so i'm now i'm picking up that some of this doubt could be like from your past it could be like oh people telling you oh you're this you're not good enough you're ugly stuff like that like it could be really like old insecurities that could be popping up that's making you doubt yourself or also making you second guess your partner but literally Everything is looking so beautiful for you guys. So, you know, and this is the whole retrograde in Venus, this whole situation. It's making everybody's stuff pop up, you know. So it's not surprising that, you know, there's like a situation that you're having to overcome the month of October. Or for the rest of October. It's like these old thoughts that you're having... Are keeping you from being happy keeping you from being from feeling fulfilled okay so that it be mindful of that because that is definitely you know popping up for you this month also don't be afraid to if things are too heavy on your shoulders if you feel burdened by something don't be afraid to walk away from it the month of October okay because you know this is not for all Gemini's but for whoever needs to hear it, this whole proposal, whatever somebody's offering to you, it could really feel like a little bit too much. Like you're really feeling either pressured to give an answer as soon as possible or you're just feeling like, whoa, like this is going too fast. Speak your truth the month of October, Gemini. You know? Definitely do that. But that is what your cards are looking like. This is... I. I love this reading. Like, this is really beautiful. I know so many of you guys are going to be so excited to hear this. Um, as always, okay, ending off this reading on a beautiful, lovely note, I'm going to pull a card from my Spirit Oracle deck to give some loving guidance from Spirit to end off this beautiful reading with a beautiful message, okay? So what is the overall energy for Gemini's? From the 14th to the 31st. Overall energy for the Geminis through the 14th and the 31st. Overall energy for the Geminis. What is the overall energy for the Geminis? 
think we'll shuffle three more times. Overall energy. All right. This is the card we got. Okay. I'm sorry, gross. <laughs> okay, so we got the Divine Will card. And it's funny because this card wanted to pop out for you, but I reshuffled and it just came out again. So this is what the universe, what spirit wants you to hear, Gemini. So this card says, okay, your life is unfolding in accordance with the divine will of your soul. Trust. Let go of fear and apprehension. You are protected and eternally blessed. Have patience. All manifest in perfect timing. Okay? So that is the overall guidance from Spirit for this reading. Okay? The month of October or the, the ending of October, the 14th, all the way through the 31st. It's all about you letting go of these old stories, these old fears that no longer serve you. Oh, you know, am I good enough? Uh, will my parents approve of me getting married? All these questions really let go of that, let go of that apprehension. Go with the flow, okay, because this is all happening for a reason, you know, nothing is a coincidence. You know, this is something that, I guess, is just a part of your divine will like it's just gonna happen so just go with the flow the universe has you like nothing bad is gonna happen in this situation okay so that is the overall advice okay that is the overall reading that is what your october forecast is looking like gemini's thank you so much for tuning into the video as always leave a comment if this resonates with you like this video share it with fellow gemini's okay because I know they want to hear it. This is some juiciness, okay? Congratulations, okay? If you found out you're having a baby, congrats to you. If you found out you're getting married, congrats. Beautiful month. Just remember, trust the process. Let go of that fear and apprehension, okay? But that's all I have for you, Gemini's. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.